Hello again, it's Wednesday, I'm John. And I'm James, and today it's story time. We're reading Cloud's book, of course it's Cloud's week. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to hearing John read aloud to you Cloud's best worst day ever. Oh. Here we go, John. All right, let's go. Cloud's best worst day ever. Cloud floated happily across a big blue sky over Komochi's way. He showered and fluffed, he puffed, he shined, it was the best day ever. Cloud was just about to eat some butterscotch pudding when <gasps> poof, he lost a perfect puff. Then poof, poof, two more. That's when oh, his pudding tumbled to the ground. Oh no. Mm -mm. It was the worst day ever. The worst. Cloud floated low down Komochi's way. It was parade day. But Cloud was grumpy, he was in no mood for a parade. He wanted to drift away, but his friends saw him and gathered around. It's parade day, announced Bug. Cloud, want to help me and Lovey Dove make a flag, he continued. Cloud frowned, no, he did not. Would you like to blow balloons, asked Hug the Puss. I don't feel like it, grumbled Cloud. Why don't you shine the tuba, said Cat. Cloud most certainly did not want to shine the tuba. And what was Cat eating? Was it, could it be, uh-oh. Is that my butterscotch pudding, snapped Cloud. said Cat, her mouth full. I found it. That did it. No, 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 rumbled an angry Cloud. Hugdapus tried to give him a hug, but Cloud was in no mood to be squeezed. And that's when he burst. Thanks, James. You're not my friends anymore, he shouted and soaked them all. Cloud knew he'd gone too far, and this made him even more upset. It's okay to be mad, but it's not okay to be mean, Lovey Dove whispered. Cloud slowly drifted home. Later, when Cloud awoke from his nap, he was the only cloud in the sky. He felt lonely, and then he remembered he had said a big, mean thing that wasn't true. When Bug saw Cloud coming, he inched back into the house. Hugdapus stayed underwater. Cat pretended to take a nap. What's wrong with everyone? Cloud asked Lovey Dove, but inside he knew. His friends had wanted to have a parade and he'd rained on it. Sometimes you have to rain before you can shine, said Lovey Dove. Very wise, thank mm. you, Lovey. Just then, Cloud heard a loud trumpeting. <laughs> and he saw his friends on Komochi's way. They were having a parade after all, without him. Cloud felt all mixed up inside. He felt sad about what he had done. And then Cloud grew strong. He knew what he had to do. The parade stopped and all was quiet. I'm sorry. It's written in the sky, isn't it, John? It is, in clouds. It's okay, said Hug the Puss. Then she opened her arms and this time Cloud hugged back. It's parade day, shouted Bug. It's not a parade without you, Cloud, said Cat. Cloud brightened. He puffed and he shined and he floated happily down Komochi's way. James, why are we reading today? It's so important to focus on, obviously, reading and understanding what's going on. Mm. We want to find out a bit more about Cloud, too. Yeah. But I wonder, do you have any questions around this book? Oh. Do you wonder anything about Cloud? I wondered how big his feelings were. Yeah. John, he had some pretty big feelings, didn't he? He had some really big feelings, and they changed really quickly. He was feeling good and then a couple of moments later, you know, he dropped his butterscotch pudding and then bang, big feelings, sad, mad feelings. James, I thought that there were lots of interesting things in there, but what's the, what's the one wise saying or the lesson that we can take away from this that Cloud teaches us? Our wise saying from the book was that it's okay to be mad, but not okay to be mean. Yeah. So it's okay to feel like we're feeling mad, but we can't actually be mean to someone. We yeah. have to control what we do. 
And that's what's actually really important. So it's okay to feel mad, but it's not okay to be mean. That's right. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today on Wednesday. It's reading day. We encourage you to read a story together and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.